Do you like olives? Yeah, I like olives. Ooh. Black olives, not green. Uh... <laughs> <laughs>Hey, it's me, Dom. Welcome back to Dom Meets World. Um, yeah, I'm already sweating and dying laughing because Harry's here. It's crazy, Yeah, guys. it's crazy. It's crazy. good stuff. It's <laughs> Harry jowls you. Hello, guys. Hey. Woo! Hi. Oh, man. Has anyone figured that Rubik's Cube out? Or is that just for looks? It's just for looks, man. Okay. You can give it a go if you want. If you want. Nah, I've never done world. one in my life and I never want to start. Yeah, I don't like them. Do you see the TikTok of the, you know that Jack Harlow song? Yeah. I'm Vanilla Baby. That guy doing the Rubik's Cube? Yeah, he completed and then everyone's like i'm Should've wet me you know yeah good Should've with his me. fingers but you would you do dance with stars i feel like you'd crush it yeah i'd like i'd win uh, it's a little bit more than that you could be a good dancer yeah and get eliminated like everyone so far like take okay here's the example right like you're on there i am and like you're good at social media and stuff like that right. and you're white with what? no and you're white with no <laughs> rhythm right I'm good at social media, <laughs> and I'm black, and I have rhythm. Yeah. So it's like, it's a rap. Yeah, it's like it's you're done. It's like you know what I mean. It's like you I'd, be the, well I'd be the Michael Jordan up. of it. You know. You should. Yeah, I would honestly love to see it. Yeah. I would love nothing more than to be in the crowd <laughs> cheering you on. <laughs> no, you tear me down, dude. Yeah. I'd be like, guys, don't vote for him. Yeah, you'd be throwing shit at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, how how are you enjoying it? <laughs> Bro, it's honestly hard. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's really hard. It's been every day is four hours a day, and it's just like so. I just I literally came from rehearsals. It's like yeah, it's just it's a lot, bro. It's really and then like the public opinion, like you don't really have any like time to do anything else. Because mm -hmm. like last time I was meant to go to my friend's like show premiere, and I was too exhausted, and then I'm always in a bad mood because I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's tough, but it's great though. It's been, I think the most rewarding thing I've ever done because it's like really testing and like vulnerable and, and people just really like love or hate me yeah. for it. <laughs> like full stress as like, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's going to say something that's going to insult me. I'm he not insulting you, but I'm saying it is like, it's a big deal when you're doing something that vulnerable yeah. for the first time. You know what for I mean? Sure. Like putting yourself out there and doing something like you're not a dancer. I am now. You are now, but I mean, like, but, but like the <laughs> first time you went up there is like that Terrible. was the first time you ever danced, right? And in front of choreography people in front of like millions and millions. Like we spoke about this before. Like I knew yeah. you were doing the show before, and you're like, oh, I'm probably gonna be out like first week. Like, I can't Bro. dance. Like, legitimately. So it's like it's nerve wracking to have to do that live on television. Like if you mess up, there's no like you don't redo that. Like I, I do. I've done it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've messed up every week. <laughs> There's not one week where I've done it perfect, <laughs> but that's the, but that's yeah. part of the experience. It's part of learning. But you know? it's also like terrifying because you have to do it in front of a live crowd. Yeah, and that's scary. Mm -hmm. And then you have to talk and not like say something crazy. And also the lifts are really you're good at lifting. That's all I got. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> you're a strong dude. You know? That's all I have, brother. <laughs> yeah, some people, a lot of people can't do the lifts. Like imagine if Barry tried to do the lifts that you do. Yeah, I, yeah, he, you know? he might be able to pull a few off. I don't know. <laughs> Bring I don't know. Out. Yeah, let's bring up Barry. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's it's on it's tough. Like it is, it's it's really scary, especially those lifts, because mm -hmm. that's what's terrifying. Because I'm like, I bet the one time I drop her is gonna be on a live show. Well, what's been your favorite dance so far? Oh, uh, uh, I think the Gangnam Style one, which was I don't know, I don't know what dance that was, but it Korean? was. No, that's the song. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know the dance, but it was fun because it was like the first ever team one. We we're all able to like be in the same studio, but those rehearsal days were long. It was like eight hours, like nonstop dancing, which is like hectic. But mm. I think uh, anything in frame. Have you done frame stuff? Anything in frame, like ballroom? Yeah. yeah. Anytime you do frame stuff, for some reason, I think it just works best for me because I don't I, like when I'm doing solo stuff, I get to see everyone. But when it's just frame stuff, I'm looking at Riley right. and we're like locked in and it's i think when it's like more technical and there's like specific stuff it works better for me because i'm like okay i know i'm meant to do this when it's like contemporary or like jazz i'm like there's no real rules you kind of just like go with it and then that's when they like don't like me because yeah. those are the two ones i got like the <laughs> scores on <laughs> but I, I would yeah ballroom would definitely play more into like it's easier for like taller people i would say also no ballroom yeah yeah no they said it's harder for you 
Yeah, they said I'm too tall. It was the first thing they said. <laughs> I don't realize how tall you are. This is going to suck. I was like, oh, okay, guys, sweet. And they asked me, like, is it harder because you're so tall? I'm like, well, I wouldn't know any f***ing different. <laughs> like, I, I got no idea if this is harder or easier. It's all, it's all hard. Mm. You, I saw your contemporary dance. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> so contemporary. Contemporary. Yeah, I saw yours. I showed Riley. It was really nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, I took it in high school. What? So no, the recent one with that girl. No, I know, but I'm saying like I've I've been dancing. Since <laughs> I was, I was like that video. You do not look like <laughs> you you're were in high a, school. You were a man. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Dub, you, if you look like, like that in high school. You should be a D1 athlete. Like you should be. You should have gone pro. I, I was. Uh, yeah, I, I took dance as I was in school. So what ones did you do? You did break dance. I started break dancing when I was like in, I was in like grade school, and then what is grade school? Like kindergarten, like kindergarten to like grade six. You know, dance break dancing in kindergarten. I started when I was like what? ten, like grade three. Like, oh, look at Dom, he's doing head spins. Yeah, That's me and crazy. my me and my friend Anthony. Shout out Anthony. B boy Ills, he's still break dancing. He's like a judge and shit. He like judges like world. Really? He was on like the Olympic team. It's in for the break dancing. Break dancing is in the Olympics this year. There's an Olympic team for break dancing. Dead ass. It's only for this year though. What? Well, and the next time is it's like uh, yeah, they were like wait, yeah, they were like we're good. What? For real. It's serious. What the f But I used to break dance him, with him when I was like 10. And then when I went, got to high school, there was a dance there was a dance class. And the dance teacher found out that I was a break dancer. And she was like, if you just take my dance class, I just, she's like, I just need a guy to lift the girls. And she was like. Should have called me. Yeah, it would have been perfect. So I'm good at And she was like, if you just dance and lift the girls, I'll give you like an 80, like an A. All you have to do is lift the girls. So I did it. But then I realized, I was like, oh, I'm pretty good at this. I like. So you just spinning. kept going? Yeah, I just kept going. Took like ballet, jazz, contemporary, and then I joined what? a dance school like outside of it. No way. Like showcase. Yeah, if you look up like Dominic Gabriel lyrical solos and shit, it comes up on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Damn, bro, that'd be sick. Yeah. That's crazy. It's it's honestly really rewarding, like this type of stuff. Yeah, like I've always liked doing like artistic shit. Do you like contemporary? That one sucked. I, 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 I like, like yeah. It. I mean, personally, I like contemporary shit because really, because I'm able to like incorporate break dance into it. So, see, I didn't like it because you're not wearing shoes. <laughs> that was it. That was yeah. The I was like, I have the widest feet. Yeah. Like, let's not do this. How big are your feet? Let's not. We're not playing this game, Dom. I know you got <laughs> flippers. <laughs> he's got size twenty feet, and he's like, oh, let's have a flop off. Well, you have you're taller than me, so I I like having the advantage of feet. How big are yours? Fifteen. Yeah. There you go, guys. I'm 12, so yeah, f me, average white man. Well, you, you get to be six <laughs> five. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that works to your advantage. Yeah, but you I got, saw f Jacob Elordi at the. He's huge. It, My height. but like not really though. Like he's he, like he's tall. Yeah, but he's like he's six five also, or maybe like I don't even know if he's like six five. No, he's six five. Is he like a solid six five? We we worked at a dog pound uh, one time, and I it was honestly really sad because um I didn't. I, d I didn't know who he was like I, kn I knew what he was in and I knew all the stuff but it didn't click mm -hmm. and we're like working out and isn't he Australian too yeah he's from like eight hour drive away from me mm. and we're like talking like like that and I felt like such an idiot after it because I was like holy shit like this is a big deal and I'm just the sausage that was just like oh yeah I'm on this like reality dating show where we just like not allowed to have sex <laughs> and he's like alright sweet I'm a f***ing Euphoria. Superstar, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> but he was like such a sweetheart. But he's, I think he's just more skinnier. Yeah, so, so he, he appears like slender, like, you know, like Slender Man? Yeah. Yeah, just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he's got a crazy jawline. He does. Yeah, it's annoying. He does. It's very sharp. Yeah. Good for him, though. Jealous. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a career and good looks, and he's tall. Good voice, too. Great voice. Good American accent. You'd, you'd kiss him? I'd give him a kiss. Yeah, I'd give him a kiss, too. Yeah. Yeah, he's got yeah, all the things I need. Oh, you give him a couple of knuckles? Yeah, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's take a moment to hear from our sponsor today at HelloFresh. Guys, it's time to say hello to a stressless holiday season with HelloFresh. I don't know about you, but after a full day of being out and about, going to events, hitting the gym, and whatever else I'm doing that day, the last thing I want to do is go to the grocery store and then plan and cook a meal. Tis the season for giving and gathering. And with HelloFresh, you can save money and time with pre-proportioned ingredients shipped directly to your doorstep. Plus tons of amazing step-by-step -step recipes. Spend your time this month shopping for gifts and zipping cocoa, not stuck in the checkout line at a grocery store. HelloFresh is over 45 recipes. 
and more than 100 seasonal add-on items to choose from every week. So it's super easy to find something that everyone enjoys. Also, did you know that HelloFresh is more than just dinners? From easy breakfast to 10 minute lunches to delicious snacks and desserts, HelloFresh has tasty choices for every mealtime occasion. Personally, I've been really into their citrus pork tacos with Southwest crema. So dope. I also love their one pan meals, like their beef stir fry tacos and their one pot chicken sausage and bean soup. So easy to make and so comforting. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Domme's World Free and use code Domme's World Free for breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's one free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash Domme's World Free with code Domme's World Free. Come experience why HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit. Now onto the show. You didn't want to come to Taylor Swift night? You didn't, you didn't offer. Last time you did, you also kind of, <laughs> last time. <laughs> Last time I had to message your manager because you didn't, you didn't, you never, you were like, hey, you want to come? And I'm right. like, yeah, I'm no, like I... sure. And then it was like three o'clock, like 30 minutes beforehand. And I was like, I don't know where I'm going or anything like that. No, it's not my fault. They meant to email you. Yeah, but I mean, you could have at least been like, hey, you know. Bro, it's show day. What's up? What do you want me to do? I don't know. You you invited me. No, actually what happened was you invited, you invited me the first for a premiere night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then... You took it back. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You were like, do you want to come to opening night? Did and I? And then we went to the Netflix dinner, and then you were like, oh, you can't come anymore. Sorry. Oh, I got it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you were here. No, I don't know. I probably did. You did. I, we... This is what it's like dating me. You push and pull. Yeah, that's why I would never date you. Yeah. yeah Thank God. Why, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, uh, no, but you came to the next one, no? Yeah, I came the second. Well, did you come with my team? Who were you with? No, it was there with your with your sister. You with my sister? Yeah, she really liked you. She was awesome. She had so much nice things to say about you. I'm like, wait, hear what I gotta say? <laughs> <laughs> the Taylor Swift night must be crazy. Everyone wants to go to that, probably. Dude, she sent a video in. Who? Taylor Swift. To you? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much to me. Yeah. <laughs> Said, hey, Ari. <laughs> no, she was just talking about uh she wished she was she was coming to the show. Um but she's just on tour. I'm like, it's okay, you can come. What uh what song did you do? We danced to um August. Mm. And then we did dance relay to shake it off. Nice. So we do two dances in a night, which is a lot. That's good though. Shake it off is a good one. That's a banger. We have to do a jive to that. And then what was the August? What type of dance? I, was that? Uh, it's a rumba. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. A uh, rumba to August is bold. I like it though. We don't. We don't have a choice. They just tell us. <laughs> They're like, hey, this is what you're doing. I'm like, you could yeah. be the really f***ing us, or you want us to stay in. Oh uh, no. Like That's I don't know what's going on. I think it's the perfect combination. Yeah. It's like, it's you. White people love you, right? Why are you and then it's Taylor Swift. This? <laughs> I don't know. I thought that's like kind of like our thing. It is, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> it has never been our thing. That's always been our thing. I've never, yeah. we've never brought race into You're this. All, yeah, like we'll be driving and then Drake will come on and you look at me and be like, huh? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's from Toronto? <laughs> yeah. He always, <laughs> he always like, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's just good, right? And then country, you come out, you'd be like, boo, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah, no. And I'll do it next time, man. Yeah, all the time, man. All the time. Man. Yeah, That's why you wanted to go to Raising Cane so bad. You're no. like, chicken. <laughs> That's <laughs> what he wants. No. And the whole time, I'm like, what if we just went to like... <laughs> Yeah. I'm like you. I was like, I kind of just want like a salad. You're like, nah, no, nah. <laughs> we don't want that. You got that. <laughs> yeah, come on, brother. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> you know what you want to eat. Yeah. Oh, that was that was Riley, by the way. No, she's I guess awesome, I should ask her. But you can ask her. Yeah. yeah, she good. She cool. Nah, she's awesome, bro. She, I think she really taught me a lot about myself. Like she's uh so young but so mature. Like very like switched on and the Mormon thing is really incredible like it's really interesting like their morals and everything is like really cool like I really respect it and their whole family like she won the family lottery like everyone in her family is sick like her dad's hilarious like he's just one of those like 
blokey blokes like always like hitting your shoulder like he's yeah. like a like a typical dad like he's mm -hmm. always like excited and like fired up and like cracking jokes and the whole like her mom's incredible all her sisters are, are beautiful and amazing and they all have so many kids like it's such i don't know i don't think i really ever had like that i felt like a family love like that before mm -hmm. so like seeing them i'm like wow you guys are really a, a golden like, but she's bro she's uh, i couldn't say a bad word about her even when we argue like because sometimes we get frustrated with each other and like stressed out when it comes like closer to the show days but like even then i'm like still just like absolutely impressed like imagine being 18 and on the biggest dancing show in the world well that's what i mean like she like this must be her dream because her sister was on it yeah like 10 years yeah dude it's crazy like i legitimately i was like yo me at 18 i'd head down to here and i was in europe being a sausage telling everyone i love them like getting drunk every day i probably like lost all my brain cells on the, at that time in my life and you're just like saving money getting ready for a house like doing all this incredible stuff being so serious about your future she's got like all these incredible like brand deals coming in like she's so switched on and uh same with her sister Lindsay. Lindsay's so good with her content like i'm actually like impressed i'm like how much content are they pushing out like they're just so good at what they do it's yeah. really incredible like their work ethics like crazy like i've never looked at someone and been so like impressed and like in awe of how hard they work like she's really cool what was it like when like you guys first met because i remember before we were like speculating about like before you were on the show and you told me we were speculating like who you yeah. would get bro i like, what pro you get and then you got riley and we were both like well that she's brand new yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah like uh, that was the thing i was like we we're, were going through google like oh it could be this person that person and when i saw her i was like I got no idea. <laughs> I must have, we must have missed you on the sheet. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah. But no, I think I was, dude, I was, uh, cause we just came back from that, that thing. And I was like still hung over. And the first episode I was literally shaking. Like I was so like, I was nervous. I was hung over. I was like all, all over the place. And then I saw her, she was just very like sweet. And like, the thing is looking back at that first episode and how terrible my dance moves were and how bad it was. Um, and she but she was being so supportive in that time i'm like damn like compared to now like i don't like i'm not as bad I'm a little i've improved a little bit but like looking back at that i'm like damn she was really patient like she really <laughs> she was really like biting her tongue yeah. <laughs> did she did she know who you were like initially she, yeah she, like she watched the shows well she said that um she had an idea it was me because of the song choices <laughs> I was like, whoa, of that much of a giveaway? She said, yeah, there's a lot of like song choices that apparently I've spoken about publicly that I like these songs, whatever else. And then she had an, like she had an inkling that it was me, but it almost didn't happen because of the thing that we were doing together and we were out of the country for a while and I had some like visa problems come up. So I had to like, because for some reason I didn't click that my visa was going <laughs> to expire <laughs> and I should, I should have stayed in the country and, and redone it. So then you yeah, had some things pop up and I wasn't actually like, I was probably like a few days away from not being on the show because mm -hmm. I had to get back in, but yeah, it was crazy. But she was, she was so nice to me then. She's been so incredible ever since. Like even when we do like bicker, we both just like be quiet and go eat food and come back and we're both fine. Yeah. Like it's really crazy. Like I've never like been around, like spent so much time with someone and, and haven't been sick of them. Like it's been crazy. Has there ever been like a moment where like, like during your dance, like what what dance in particular was like, oh, this is, I don't know if we're gonna make it through this one, you know? Contemporary. Yeah. Like there was the there was a day where I was like, Riley, I'm gonna get COVID this week. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> like I'm, this is a week that I'm gonna like just have a white flag yeah. and just like get out of here. And uh, I was really like upset. And uh, she was frustrated as well. And she's like, Harry, you know what happens when you say you're not going to get something? You're not going to get it. I'm like, that's the last thing I want to hear right now. <laughs> I want you to tell me I'm going to get it no matter what. <laughs> it was crazy, bro. I also don't know how you juggle like two shows at one time as well. Because Amazing Race Australia was out at the same time. Yeah, bro, I felt yeah, so you, bad. Yeah, you're just on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing Race like, hey, can you help us promote? I'm, bro, I'm dancing. Bro, I'm I felt <laughs> so, because it was airing at the same time. Yeah. So every Tuesday is Wednesday in Australia. And we're filming <laughs> Dancing with the Stars. And they're sending me all the content. Like, hey, the episode's up right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go on stage. Like, <laughs> what do you guys mean? But apparently that broke a bunch of records in Australia. Like, it was doing really well. Um, 
for amazing race back home but i just felt really guilty because like i could only watch it like two or three days after because i was filming this and i didn't really have any time and then i posted the, the links and the and the episode clips like super late and they're like yeah harry you already got kicked off I'm like, oh, yeah. okay well me <laughs> it was crazy you should do amazing race amazing race canada yeah well if they have a because i think because that was the first ever worldwide celebrity celebrity one um i think they're gonna start pushing it for more countries but it was that was f-ing tough yeah like that was really testing and then yeah that was that was like i think that was the hardest one the hardest show i've ever done but it also made me like learn a lot about myself and then you get to go to places you never would imagine like we went to india and i'm like when would i ever well i, w- I probably wouldn't go again maybe under different circumstances because we were like backpacking and rushing through everywhere it was like really difficult but it was it was really special and then me and my boy we just got like super close from it yeah it was sick and he's still in australia yeah he moved to bali like he's just living like an influencer oh sick yeah i'm like bro what are you doing (laughs) yeah like him and his girlfriend just like have the best life over there i'm like all right well i wish i could just quit everything and go to bali yeah no you don't Nah, no, I love, I love you're doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like I got close, like with dancing. I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna run away. What's the difference between like I would assume getting eliminated from this is way different than getting eliminated from like our dating shows. Like, I feel like you're like way closer with the people on Dancing with the Stars than like. Yeah, bro. I I think this was the first show where like everyone behind the scenes, like the production, the hosts. Um, you know when you're on a dating show and the host is kind of like this superior person yeah. and you don't really get to talk to them and you kind of like want to learn about them like you never really get to like break the barrier but on this show like Alfonso is at uh, the camera blocking and he's like talking to everyone he's giving you advice he's like hey this is this is where I keep my eye line this is what I do this is what I want to see more of Yeah. like everyone's really supportive like even though we're competing against each other like today I went into Allison's uh, room and we like do a show and tell so her pro Sasha will be like Harry like this is what in being a man in this situation you need to do this and this and this and then Riley will do that for Allison and like help her so it's really like it's such a beautiful family vibe so like when people were saying there was like drama and stuff going on I was like oh damn like it, it doesn't feel like that because we all like genuinely like like each other yeah like it's really crazy yeah it's like actually like a family and it must be like a different level of like because it's a different audience than our shows like Bro. it's like whole families <laughs> watch your show like yeah because i think that average, i saw when you guys were like at like when you and riley went to was it tate mccray yeah for sure oh or whatever God, and you guys bro. were even like ambushed yeah it was crazy like it was really nuts i think uh the average per the average age of um people that watch dance with stars is 65 how crazy is that that's insane so that's why i guess they wanted us on because they want to get that younger demographic but because we post so much on tiktok everyone was just it's just been going going nuts yeah. and i guess because it's also a cable a cable show like i've been on a cable show before yeah and then it's on disney plus and hulu so it's just been like this huge new audience i've never seen me before so it's been kind of like special because i get to show the most vulnerable thing i've ever done to a new audience that like don't have any prejudgment and just want to like learn about me so it's really cool um but then yeah then they also like want to hate me because i don't dance well <laughs> i have a game for us okay because you know we're always we're always f-ing fighting we're always, yeah. you're always you know us you know us harry and dom always, always, f-ing f-ing always fighting fisticuffs and shit. yeah um so it's called let's make beef okay yeah so we're, we're gonna pick a topic out of the bowl a word and we're just gonna fight over it okay we're just sweet. gonna fight about it so you want to okay you ready <laughs> Here we go. This looks like a big word. What do we got? Caterpillars turning into butterflies. Oh, here we f-ing go. Well, I got some. I got a take. I got a hot take. Um, caterpillars, kind of better than butterflies. That's f-ing crazy. I don't, what? But, butterflies are beautiful. They fly. What more do you need? What do they do? Beautiful. What do butterflies what is, what is do? A, what does a f-ing caterpillar do? Walk around like a little f-ing pretend worm all day? eat leaves well let's not just lump all uh worms together you know if anything caterpillars are more like miniature snakes i don't think so what are they they lit- they look gross they probably smell funny they probably have terrible banter they don't know how to, t- how to talk to each other and they eat everything but butterflies are just kind of biting 
caterpillar swag because you're just a caterpillar with wings. You know what I'm saying? But they look like, beautiful. Think, but like you, but like why though? Why are they beautiful? Because they can fly. <laughs> Because they because they can have you fly seen because, their wings? because they have wings that makes them beautiful. It's better than a moth. Have you first of all? Let's not just judge <laughs> things based off of appearance. Let's what about okay. their personality? Okay, what about, what about their personality? Like, what are the, what about what they their values and their morals? You're just gonna look at their wings and be like, oh, you, have, you have? have beautiful wings, so now you're superior. Yes. Oh, your face is symmetrical, so now you're superior. That's what we're <laughs> that's what we're doing now. Yeah. That's how we're that's, that's how we're, we're going about life is just judging people off of f-ing looks. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Socks. One thing I don't like about socks is when people wear two different colored socks. I think that's disrespectful. I think men shouldn't wear socks at all. What? Okay, you want stinky f-ing feet in your shoes? Wash your feet. Uh, after, Wash your shoes. After a whole day, I'm dancing all day. Yeah. In leather shoes. Right. Leather bound shoes. Right. You want me to have not, no socks on and stink up a storm? Why are you, why, 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 are you why are you stinking up your shoes? Do you not wash your feet? I I may not. So you should start washing your feet. Maybe I wash my feet. Wash your feet then. I don't understand why you why you need cushion in between you, what you. Why would you know what you cushion? Afraid? You're gonna get blisters. It, it feels great. You're afraid you're gonna get some blisters on your toes. Yes. That your that your ankles might get sore. Yes. Yeah. Well then. You, you want to go around with sore ankles? Grow a pair. <laughs> grow a pair. Be a f-ing man. Don't be so scared of f-ing blisters, my man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hot, hot dogs, dogs. yeah <laughs> i didn't like him neither obviously neither do i <laughs> <laughs> oh okay this is good uh, uh olives i f-ing hate them i f-ing hate olives. i f-ing hate olives what the f- is i the gen- point this of is olives? in part of like the bit Man, I, I, I like if you're an olive f- you yeah. i, I genuinely that's the one food i just don't i can't yeah, eat yeah what like what's the point I don't know. They're you're like salty a, and gross, and like, where's the fun? Yeah, you're like a like a f- grape. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. you are the worst type yeah. of grape. Like, yeah, some of them have seeds in them. It's like I'm get a, the seeds out. That's actually how I started hating olives because I thought it was a grape when I was a kid, and I tried it, and I was like, this is f- horrendous. I f- hate them. Yeah, they're like, what do they put them in drinks and shit? It's like and a, salad. Yeah. Like, were well, you gonna ruin a whole salad? There's With tomato a, in there. You're gonna jeopardize the or, tomato. Or like the people who like, well, you have a margarita and then you put an olive on a stick and you're like, ooh, it's ooh. dirty now. Yeah, like, ooh, I'm so go I'm, go to the bathroom. Clean yourself. Yeah, clean yourself. I want to wash your f- Want a feet. dirty mar- Make it dirty. Make Get it. Make it a filthy margarita. <laughs> Ew. Hey. Welcome. Uh, if you're listening audio audioly, uh, Riley's here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Riley's here. If you if you if you're if you're listening in the audio aspect <laughs> and right. you can't see visually because you're not looking at YouTube right now, Riley is here. Riley's here. Riley Arnold. Riley Arnold, not the other Riley. Yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. who's the other Riley? <laughs> Reed. Uh, yeah. Okay. What'd you what'd you, what'd you pick? <laughs> okay, I picked. <laughs> okay. I picked IKEA. Uh you guys have experience with Ikea? We do. Uh, I, <laughs> personally, I hate Ikea. This guy, this tall Australian man, he's bringing me here, bringing me there to do nothing. I like um, Ikea. It's an experience. You get to see furniture. You get to feel it out. It's just, it's... But they're doing too much. You're I doing mean, too much. No, I'm just saying... hating like, on Ikea. Like, why do you have... Why do I have to go on an entire tour if I just want to get, a, like, a like a couch? Yeah, that's true. It's why do insane. I have to, why do I have to see all these different types of rooms? It's not it's about so the destination. It's about the journey. It's overwhelming. It's you know? overstimulating. It's about the journey. And how with your friends. And then I'm rewarded by what? Getting to the end and now I'm in a warehouse and I got to use a computer. What was all that for? <laughs> I've never bought one <laughs> thing What was all Ikea? that for? If now I just go to the end, I go on the computer <laughs> and I got to ask somebody to go get a forklift to grab it off. The number. <laughs> what was all that for? Because you get to see the ambiance. You get to feel it. You get to land the, the ambiance of what? Not, no room in there looks like my home. Yeah. I can't afford any room <laughs> that Ikea You should have replied me. to Isaac then. <laughs> who's who Isaac? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh, let's do another one. Okay. The lottery. Okay. Let's go. Um, hmm. I don't like the lottery because I haven't won it yet. I don't like it because... What's the okay? Who even wins the lottery? Like, Me. I feel like I've never heard of anyone actually winning. There was this one lady in my old 
this place that used to work, this liquor store, she won it twice. Mm-hmm. And she was just so snobby and rude. She won it twice? Yeah, but it wasn't like crazy amount. I think she won like a couple hundred grand each time. And mm. she just like fully changed her demeanor. Like she was like this hillbilly and then she she won it and she was very posh and like changed her accent and everything. I'm like, I really would love like to do that and like fully just change my brand. I think if I had enough money, I would, I'd probably change as a person. For sure. I think yeah. everyone should. Yeah. I think, if, I think, you know, like, <laughs> you know, money, money, <laughs> money doesn't solve everything. It solves most things. <laughs> Yeah, name so one thing it doesn't say solve. one thing it doesn't solve. Yeah. Like, I got hunger. Solved. Yeah, solved. Like, solved. I got carjacked and solved. I had money. I get another car. So <laughs> I get another I car. Get another. Imagine I got carjacked and I didn't have money. Yeah. Now I just don't have a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but having money makes life so much easier. Yeah. It does. You know? Yeah. So, it solves happiness. I get robbed. Oh, f- I, I'll just well, buy it back. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I just, more money. I got insurance. Yeah. Spend money on that. Yeah. Riley, what are your thoughts on jock straps? Oh. Jock straps. Yeah. Love them. What? 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 Expound? What? Expound? Wait, yeah, is that why, the thing that like sports people wear? Yeah. When they're like playing football or something? Yeah. Yeah. Do they? And it like keeps it. In yeah, there? it keeps it all secure. Yeah. But the, you, you, it's you great. Mumble? Do what you gotta do. You know. Do, do they wear anything underneath or over the top? Uh, the jock strap? Yeah. Yeah, they wear their uniform would... over the top. Oh, okay. Hey, yes. have you ever watched football before? No, I just wear undies when I play rugby. Hmm. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, you don't want... You don't want anyone hitting it. Yeah. Just put a cup in. You, you, but some people prefer... Jo- it's like, you know, you have boxers, have you have briefs, out, right? you have tidy whitey. You know, you have different types of underwear depending on, like, what's your... Yeah, but they have their own asses out, don't they? Yeah, if you... But what's wrong with that? No, I don't... You have, so do you right? not like... <laughs> <laughs> Personally, me, I don't want my ass out. So then you rugby. don't wear a jock strap. But some guys are like, I like my cheeks out, you know. It's free. You, you wearing one right now? Huh? You wearing one right now? Uh, no, I got Kelvin's. Uh, I got some CKs on. Okay. Yeah. Do you have? What are you wearing right now? Definitely not a jockstrap. Prove it. Harry. Oh, oh Noah Beck's brand. Oh, oh nice. look at that. Yeah. You're a Noah. You're a Noah Beck fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Did you see the fan page? I did see the fan page. Yes. I did see it. Yeah. It's embarrassing. She loves him. The second episode of the show, I had a guest and I slid in Noah Beck's DMs on his behalf. Oh, he, has a, he had a crush on Noah out? Beck. So I slid in Noah Beck's DMs and I said, as my guest, Ruba, shout out Ruba. And I said, I would, hey, daddy, I would like to tickle your left booty cheek using this feather. And then I sent him like a picture of a feather. Yeah. Noah, Noah never responded. Oh, dang it. So, yeah. yeah. That would have been fun. If you ever want to slide in his DMs, let me know. I'm good at it. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you want to do it right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your phone. No. You met him, but you met him though, right? Yeah, yeah I met him. How was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it Did was I hilarious. Meet him? <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. It was so funny. I was trying to organize a day at rehearsals to surprise her and have him come in, but he obviously travels a lot and he was, he was busy with work. So it was like hard to like figure it out. But then uh, it was like a Friendsgiving thing and I didn't realize he was back in town. And then I walk in and I was like, Riley, <laughs> no is here. And no is in the corner like, what? I'm like, no is here. Oh, it's so bad. It was so embarrassing. It was so funny, but he was so nice to her. Yeah. It was f***ing funny. I couldn't stop laughing. And she was just standing there like, oh my God. Yeah. She I, was f- buzzing. I forget because you're really mature for your age. I forget yeah. that you're kind of like in the the gen z era like you're my yeah. baby brother's age so like you grew up on like all these like tiktokers and stuff like yeah that. i did yeah who's your favorite my favorite noah do you harry. are you are you oh. like a harry's my favorite bullshit <laughs> yeah <laughs> Bull <laughs> you, have, you, have you not seen Vinny hacker's jawline jesus yeah Christ. Oh, true <laughs> i'm just saying yeah, in the in like the in like the hierarchy of white boys yeah, you know what I mean? Is. I don't know if I'd put Harry Jowsey on, my, on Mount Rushmore. Nah, I wouldn't be up there. Like you're like, if I want, if I need like a tall Australian, I'm winning. Jacob Lordy. Okay. Oh, he's Australian. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's, yeah. Talented. Yes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You would never know because he's so good at what he does. You know, at being not Australian. And yeah, and yeah, good looking guy. I'd probably put him up there. Yeah. Noah Beck. Okay. Vinny Hacker. <sighs> and then I probably fourth spot. You know. Probably give that to like a Leo. 
Yeah, Leo can go up there. Yeah, he can go there. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. He's not really in that tier of. Oh, nice. No, he doesn't have you know, he doesn't do the lip sync dancey thing. And little Huddy. Yeah, let's put Huddy up there. Yeah, let's put Huddy. Yeah, what? Josh Richards, little Huddy, yeah. Yeah. up there. I don't know. Who's the Who's the other? Not me. The other guy that does a little, does a, does a little jig. I don't know. No, no, I don't know. I don't know if he yeah. will. Yeah. Who's the, Who's the other one? There's like another guy. Harry. He's like a Harry Jazzy. Oh, uh, Jaden. Shout out Jaden. Uh, yeah, Jaden. Yeah, yeah Jaden's good. Well. Yeah, I did. He was there. Jaden's good. He was there. He's yeah. on my nail polish team for Undone. Oh, yeah, shout out, Jayden. shout out Jaden, man. All right. Yeah. Next All right. Game. Do you have another game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Uh, One Direction. Love him. Yeah. I, I'm a fan. Why'd they split? Yeah, why would they want to do that? Who's yeah. your favorite member? Harry. Um, Zane. Good answer. Yeah. What? Why Harry? What? What do you mean? Harry is so handsome, talented. He's like every other Harry that's ever existed. Says so Harry, <laughs> <laughs> handsome, and talented, and great. He shaved his head recently. Yeah. He shaved his head. Yeah. What? You didn't see that? No. Apparently. Like how much? All of it. Uh, all of it. What I was wait do. seriously? Yeah. How much of his hair do you think he would shave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just left it mullet. <laughs> wait, he really like. Like shaved it. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. You're joking. I'm not. I think he has a goatee as well. It's like a nice goatee. Like a nice little. Oh, why not? did he do that? No, nah, for real. Kind of looks like kind of give. He pull it off. He looks beautiful. Yeah. Oh, looks like a nice this. little, pretty slender British Heisenberg. You know? <laughs> yeah. Heisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> like breaking yeah. that little Walter White. Yeah, nice. No, he's, he's beautiful. Yeah. I feel. I love One Direction. I listen to music all the time. Yeah, it's we good. We One Direction night. That could be fun. Anyway. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. That, uh, I think we're done arguing. Yeah. We've argued enough. And on that note, I, I want to take back all the stuff I said about uh, you are my favorite. Like, oh, thank you. Uh, Caucasian man. Why do we keep bringing race? Uh, that's because that's what we do. That's like our thing, you know? It's not our thing, bro. <laughs> Why do you call me bro? Because Because I'm, uh, I'm a brother? <laughs> <laughs> <Larry>. <laughs> <laughs> Next game. <laughs> All right. So since Riley's here, we have uh, we have another game. We're gonna introduce another game. Oh yes. And it's would you let your daughter date this person? So we got a bunch of Tinder bios in there, and we're gonna discuss if you let your daughter date this individual. These are real bios, by the way. Oh, gosh. Yeah, some of them are dongs. Okay. Looking to find my one and only favorite hobbies are video games, soccer, water polo, and cooking. I let her date. Yeah, that seems pretty. He likes soccer and water polo. Yeah. yeah, and and cooking, and video games, whatever. So she's always gonna be fed. That's good. Yeah, and but he, video games could be a red red flag. Why? Because like he could be more prioritized in playing video games than what about water polo. Water polo? I don't think I have anything against water polo. Exactly. What is water polo? It's hard, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> hard. No. It's hard. We used to play in Australia. It's cool. You're just always swimming. It's like water soccer, but like you're just swimming and you have to like throw the ball. Wow. In the net. It's hard. Hmm. And people get violent and like try and pull you under. Huh. Oh, wow. Don't well, play it. Respect. I, I like him. I would personally let my daughter date that guy. Uh, now that you mentioned that, no. No, I don't want my daughter dating He's hot. Water, water polo men. So you wouldn't? You're going to say no? Uh, Yeah, honestly, I'd say no. Okay. Seems a little weird. Yeah. Soccer right. and water polo. Just, yeah, weird. Okay. I like Lego very much. <laughs> 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 what is it? I like Lego very much. I like to go to the Apple store to buy Apple products. I also like to go to Disneyland. I also like Marvel. You sound like you're six years old. <laughs> yes. That's a no from me. He can date my daughter. The interest? Yes? Yeah. What? I'm just joking. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, the interest is like cool, but I like the framing of that kind of was like sociopathic. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, who? What? Adult likes Lego that much. Yeah, or maybe it was like the way you read it was very sociopathic I as well. Yeah, so. I like I like Lego very much. I like <laughs> I like Lego very much. much. Yeah, I don't. Know. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I'll pass. Yeah. Oh, she's been voting for us, by the way. The oh, rest good. Of Thank you. Yeah. We need it. No, they're very racist. <laughs> <laughs> Dom said that, by the way. <laughs> Why do you always bring race into things? Uh, you're the one saying it. <laughs> you told me they're racist. I'm here to have you back. <laughs> We're thinking no, things. I, I, spe <laughs> <laughs> um, I specialize in telling a waiter, you too, after he says, enjoy your meal. Combo. 
he's funny. No. Uh, that's what? That's a total dad dad joke. I yeah, feel that's like. a no for me. Really? Psh, it's corny. That's in your bio? It's crazy. I specialize in telling a waiter. Yeah, like you two. Your specialty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You say no? I guess it's fine. Like, it's funny, kind of. <laughs> Maybe he's just a silly guy, you know? That, yeah, he just kind of seemed like a silly guy. Like, why would that be in the bio? Like, I don't know. like serial killer vibes, so, like, why not go on the date? I'm going to say, yeah. I'm, yeah. Like, that's, he seems kind of wholesome. Yeah. Nah, she's my daughter. Yeah, I want, like, it's a wholesome do- guy. <laughs> my daughter. She's precious. <laughs> she doesn't need that. <laughs> okay. Need someone to take out in my pickup truck. Oh, no. no. Yeah. yeah, no. That's a yes for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a big yes. Are you serious? Pickup truck? Probably likes going off roading, camping. Yeah, but why? Doing fun stuff. No. Bad things games. will happen in that pickup truck. It's not going to happen. At least in a pickup truck? No, Harry. What? It's but also, your daughter. Like, she, she but think about it. his like, standards. Like He's just like in his bio to date someone, find the love of his life. Like, oh, I just need someone to pick up in my pickup truck. Well, you preferred Lego man? Over He's pickup a, truck man? Like, yeah. he doesn't want to date your daughter. Like, your identity is your pickup truck? Yeah. Kind of That's your he personality? Just, he just it's probably a cool truck. Harry. I want to go in the truck. <laughs> yeah, that worked on you? That worked on you. You want to get picked up? <laughs> I want a pickup truck. <laughs> uh, let's get a pickup truck. Yeah, I don't know. No? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. He's not it. Is it, is it my turn again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did I go? Uh, I'm not great at math, but I'm pretty sure we're <laughs> we're a perfect match. <laughs> oh, perfect match. Yeah, go on the oh, date. Right, you yeah, like yeah. that oh. show? Yeah, it's a good show. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Dom, Dom's been on that show. What? The, he he was on. Oh the, yeah. He won it. You won it? Nah, uh, debatable. You know what I mean? Like I won, but like did I really win? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a bad bio. Yeah, I, I hate the bio. I hate it. Yeah, yeah it's a not no. a fan. I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Riley, Riley will like this one. I'm really just here for some tomfoolery, some silliness, perhaps. Who is tomfoolery? <laughs> it's just a saying, right? I'm gonna say yeah. yeah. I think it's a. Uh, yeah, I think he's funny. Tomfoolery he's is uh, Voldemort's cousin. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Well, then why is it, why is he on Tinder if he's trying to find Tom? Maybe we'll find him through Tinder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Here uh, we are. He could be the one. Hannah Montana. You looking at my profile? What? No, seriously. Oh, that's what it said. Oh, yeah. I thought you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought you just were. Oh, that's a red. Yeah. Just that seriously. Song. It's a good song though. Yeah. No, seriously. You could be the one by Hannah Montana. Yeah. You looking at my profile? Profile. I almost said porch. Porch. <laughs> uh, wait. He likes Hannah Montana. Says, yes. What? So wait, it says it's just a Hannah I'm Montana confused. quote. You looking at my profile? He's saying that I could be the one because you're looking at my profile. Oh, so. clever. Okay, I'd yes. <laughs> Go on the date. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Big fan. Medium king with a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately uh, no. Yeah. I got a, I got a dog. I want them to have a dog date. Nah, probably not. No, no. no Definitely no. 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 Also, what do you mean by <laughs> yeah? What do you mean dog? by that, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Pros: goofy, cons, slow walker. Yeah, no. I don't like people who walk slow. Like that's that's a big ick. Yeah, it is. Don't date my daughter if you're gonna walk slow. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Six four. My height is my personality. That is my bio. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. oh, they got my Tinder bio. It's great. <laughs> I'm actually banned from Tinder. I think. Why? I don't know. What'd you do? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say no. I'll say yeah. What? I think it's funny. Okay. I'll probably say no. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I want... I I don't know. Like, here's my thing, right? (laughs) Here's my thing. (laughs) Here's my thing, right? Mm. Like, I... One of my biggest fears is, like, what if I I become a dad, right? Wait, how is say, it, why is that a fear? No, no, like, let, me, like, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, I become a dad, right? And then 
I'm at home one day, you know, I come home early from work and I just hear like, you know, going on. Yeah, they're watching a good movie. Yeah, they're watching and a good movie and they're, and they're just like clapping, you know? And I'm like, oh, I wonder what, what this movie is, you know? And then I go Harry upstairs Potter. and I open the door and some tomfoolery is afoot, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> They're, you know, they're get, they're getting they're getting active. How does this relate to this bio? Well, wait, no, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. So you know, their their round of applause is going on, right? Make the sound for me, because I have one hand. That's going on, right? I enter, and it's not a round of applause. They're <laughs> doing something else. Yeah. Sometimes. And I'm like, oh, and then I close the door, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. And then eventually, you know, I don't say anything about it. Goes unsaid, mm -hmm. and I meet the guy. Yeah. And now he's a six foot four massive linebacker yeah and then i'm like you know wait what my poor daughter <laughs> <laughs> what you, you know what i'm saying it's like uh, i yeah. don't know you can't get mad at him yeah wait you know? what why he's big guy big yeah he's scary it's your and daughter though That's you know different. he's giving it to my daughter and now i gotta like make food for him and stuff like that it just wouldn't it's a hard pill yeah. to swallow you know? Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, oh, no, you wow. know? And then, you know, I say now I got to cook food for him and he's going to eat it. He's going to eat a lot of food. He's going to eat six a lot. Yeah, he's 6'4". He's I got to feed him. He's a, he's feed a him. linebacker. He's a linebacker. He's, so he's going to want to stay over all the time. He's like, okay. Yeah, and it's like, I know what happens when you stay over. Yeah. You know, and now I'm in bed and hey, I just wait. hear a round of applause all the time. So Your guys' brain is different than mine. <laughs> 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 What were you thinking? What were you thinking? Just nothing. I just. You let didn't... her go on a date? What? You let her go on a date with that? Yeah. <laughs> nope. That's, uh, you know? There we go. You know, you'll, you'll learn. <laughs> you'll learn? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah. Wow. You're a racist. What? <laughs> 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 All right, we got two more. We got two more. <laughs> Go right. ahead. Uh, okay. You do the honors. All right. Green flags. I look for girls on a Lexpro? Lexapro? It's an antidepressant? Yeah. Green flags. I look for girls on Lexapro. I am. No. That's, Weirdo. That's toxic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That shouldn't be in your bio. <laughs> <laughs> or even a thought. I look for girls who are on antidepressant. <laughs> they have to medicate themselves. So they yeah, that shouldn't even be a don't. thought. Yeah, no. Yeah. Not a fan. No. Yeah. No. All right, last one. Oh, ask me about my cult. My cult? <laughs> cult? Yeah. Cult. Like, a, do you know what a cult is, Harry? Yeah, I know what a cult is. I'm in one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is your bio. <laughs> yeah. This is why you're here, right? <laughs> no, I'm not interested no. in cults. Well, no, no, wait, 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 wait. For my daughter. If he has a cult, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a good, it's good leadership cult. qualities. Yeah. <laughs> Good the leadership community? qualities. <laughs> you know, yeah. Community. community. He's a so big So you guys don't guy. like six four, but you're okay with Colts. I'm not okay with any of them. Yeah. I'm having a daughter. She's standing. I'm home. picking the best out of you. You know. Yeah, out of this bunch. Out of this bunch, and if he has a cult, that's leadership qualities, <laughs> sense of community. You know, it takes From a lot of responsibility. You know. You guys. To like have a cult. Yeah. And organize it. They probably love each other. He's probably pretty charming if he's able to like convince people to join his cult. Yeah, <laughs> I'd probably join it as well. To be honest, I'm joining. You, you know, yeah. I'm so joining. now we're, we're you're dating my daughter. We're all part of his cult, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's probably pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Here. Oh gosh, that's bad. Riley, do you uh, you like dancing? I love dancing. It's Sick. my job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so life dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a life dream to be on the show. <laughs> yeah, and you're on the show now. Uh, yeah. So what's next? You kind of peaked. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I do nothing now. I just okay. sit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, God. my life is over. Uh, <sighs> no, but that's like you're 18 and you're like you pretty much, pretty much. I'm doing you my pretty dream. much. Yeah. You pretty much like you like reached. Done it. Yeah. Yeah, well, you did it. Hopefully, they keep asking me back on the show, and it just becomes my job for the next. And you're gonna go on while. tour too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'll go on tour in like a month or so, and yeah. In a month. Isn't it? Isn't it? Wait, what month? month is it? We're in two January. months. Two months. Isn't it February? January. Tour starts, tour starts in January? January 20th or something like that. Oh, boy. Jesus. Soon. Oh, and boy. Three months she's on tour. I show every night. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Have you ever done that before? No, I've never done tour. So should be interesting. But I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I feel like it'll make everyone closer as well. Yeah, for sure. All the pros. Yeah. 
<laughs> Riley, what's been your what's been your favorite dance so far with Harry? Um, I really liked our jazz that we did on music video night. Oh, that was sick. Yes, and then I loved our Disney night dance. Yeah, which is yeah. the Halloween one was pretty. Oh, that was good. That was, was crazy. That was insane. That yeah. was insane. We're in there for so long. Yeah, getting prosthetics on. Anytime we go rehearse, we have to come back, put more prosthetics on. Yeah, I did not feel like myself that day. They were still touching us up up until like the live show. Like they kept changing. I got colors slightly, and it was, it was hectic, and there was so much blue, in places I didn't want there to be blue. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's still blue. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. It's still blue. <laughs> yeah, hint of pink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very blue. How? Uh, <laughs> oh, how? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Riley, what's it like adjusting to like, the influencer life or like the the fame of it all? Like getting all these followers and. Mm. I feel like it hasn't affected me. I feel like I haven't really noticed like the, I don't know. I still don't feel like I'm like di any different or that there's like more people following me. Mm. Like I feel like it hasn't really like affected me. I feel like it's more just like adjusting to like, I don't know. Just like being like in the scene, you have to be careful with like what you do and like, yeah, just those kind of things that I'm adjusting with. But like other than that, I feel like it doesn't feel much different. Yeah. Do you like olives? Yeah, I like olives. Ooh. Black olives, yeah. not green. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that's that was, been it. That was Dummy's World. That was Dummy's World. Thanks for coming on, guys. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good time. Oh, uh, yeah. Follow Riley at R Riley Arnold. One on Instagram. Yeah, and Harry Jowsey. All right, that's been it for Dom Meach World. <laughs> uh, you guys know what to do. Go to Pass Your Bedtime YouTube channel for full video episodes. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. You know, maybe.